All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Huh? Happy? <laughs> Happy. How do I know you're going to come back tomorrow and not on Monday? Oh, that's a good point. I could come back Monday. <laughs> Yo, I'm on the phone with my girl. For some reason, y'all, I don't think she really sleeps. So we about to see if she really sleep. Bro, are you for real? Get up. Are you for real? Oh yeah, I'm just gonna go back to sleep. Yeah, don't worry. What a start we're off to here. Rule number 13. Without communication, there is no relationship. Without respect, there is no love. And without trust, there is no reason to continue. Hey, Father Bernard! Wait, how old is your daughter? She's nine months. So where's her father? What's going on with you guys? Um, he's in the hospital, so he's very ill. So I'm looking for like a stepfather. Wait, so you broke up with him while he's in the hospital? No, I, no, I didn't break up with him. Were y'all not together when he went to the hospital? Yeah, we, we're still together. Wait, okay. I'm looking for like, uh, you know, just in case. Just in case if he passes away. Right. Get the French toast out of here. Are you serious? Yes, Kendra, you have to have one in the chamber, Kendra, come on now. Oh yeah, like that's the way it's supposed to be. But keeping one's options open like that is likely going to mess up the current relationship, or at least make it much less likely to succeed. Hello, babe. My dad is not feeling fine. He's very sick. And we're in the hospital and the doctor is requesting for 12 million to do his surgery. Babe, please send me the 12 million. I'm waiting on. Make it fast so that we train delay. See, madam, I beg, I beg, I beg. I don't need to wahala. You know, get brothers. You know, family people, not they. I be real, bog buwa. See, no come and no buy again, no damn and no buy again. Bye bye. On a scale of 1 to 10, like, what would you rate me? Oh, rate you out of 10? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a nine. Do you know why? Why? Because I am the one you need. I don't know why so many people nowadays waste their time with the talking stage. You want to get to know someone? Cool. Hey, what are you doing this weekend? Let's go out. You know what I mean? Like, why are you going to sit there for months being like, hey, how was your day? <laughs> it's like, do you really give up? about how their day went? No, you don't. You know the talking phase seems like an easy way to get attention if you ask me. So it would probably make a little bit of sense to be a bit careful there. You could have some crazy chemistry with someone, yeah. but they're just not the right person for you. Like yeah. what they want out of a relationship is not what I would want out of a relationship. Don't try and force something to work if it's just taking up so much of your energy, yeah. stressing you out. This is way too much. It's not too much, I can stop whatever I want! <laughs> it's not a problem! That's E1. Yeah, somewhere around 80 to 100K in your mid 20s. A lot of you guys are ugly. Here's how you fix it. You need to improve how attractive your face is. You guys look like fun. Anyways, here's how you fix it. This generation is so broken, and I'm going to tell you why. If you try too hard, you're seen as clingy. And if you barely try at all, they think you don't care. If you care too much, you push them away. And if you care too little, you'll lose them. I don't understand what we're supposed to do in this generation. I don't get it. Oh, no. I mean, yeah, he's not the only one. There's so many high expectations that people can put on one another in this current dating market, which can be just quite unrealistic. Check out this next so-called filter video. I'm 27. 36. Has dating gone easier for you or harder? Harder. Definitely harder. Why is that? It's harder because I've already built a life that I really love. That's so I don't want to make compromises. A lawn chair okay. car. So your standards have gone higher. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the pool is getting smaller. My standards are getting higher. So I don't know what to say. At 36, what are the men like in your dating pool? <laughs> um, they're there. <laughs> um, they're, there's a range of men. Stop the cow. <laughs> uh, I would say, uh, but 
it's hard to find something that you have in common with a bunch of, I don't know, just, there's a lot of men out there, but just not what you're looking for sometimes. Did you think you had a better shot at getting into a relationship when you were younger? Yes. <laughs> I'm an old lady, but also... Uh... But she doesn't look like an old lady. Look at her. Oh, come on now. They were doing so well. They were honest about their current situation in the dating market and seemed like they were going to change something about it. So at least there seems like there's some hope there. Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay, why did you bet in me? Like, I don't feel like we match, you know what I mean? That, that, that's okay. Yeah, no, I can't I see agree. myself walking like down the street with you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm at the age where if he's not my husband, he's not my boyfriend. Let's talk about it. What I mean by that is if I am going on dates with someone and I realize that they are not the love of my life, they're not my husband, then I will not put a title on that relationship because how is my husband going to find me when I'm cuffed in a relationship? Stop the cap. If you have an Android phone, <laughs> a red flag. <laughs> you have an Android? No. You just nice. Sound like you're 12. <laughs> Why? I'm, that, that's a common thing. A lot of people. I, know, of, so I don't know. Something about Android phone just throws like, me like off. You would give up somebody that who who might be the love of your life. Android phone. That's crazy. Okay, what in the world is going on right now? Like, how can this be making logical sense? Wait a second. Actually, no, it doesn't. So I wouldn't worry so much about things like what type of phone you use. Why are you doing your makeup right now? <laughs> You did that so I would talk to you. Your whole face lit up. Let's talk about it. You thought something was on your face? Habibi, come to Dubai. I'm in Dubai only right now. Where to come? Tell me. I want a Bugatti. You want a Bugatti? But your face only support Maruti Suzuki. <laughs> oh man, that was hilarious. So basically a million dollar price difference right there. But hey, I mean, at least you don't necessarily need a Bugatti to get the things done throughout the day. That person you like didn't return your feelings. I'm sorry to hear that. If you think you're unworthy of being loved, that's just not true. You are worthy of being loved, and you don't need to put yourself down. If the person you have feelings for doesn't care for you the way you care for them, that's their loss. If the rejection was based on things outside of your control, it's not fair to yourself to dwell on what you can't change. Don't change yourself for the approval of someone else. Give yourself time to work on yourself. Express your feelings to a trusted source. Have some time to grieve, but remember to focus on caring for yourself. While grieving the rejection, it's vital you respect your crush's decision. Bitterness and obsession will not win their affections. Moving on won't happen overnight, but by loving yourself and knowing your worth, it will get easier. This heartbreak will not be permanent. Such facts. You can either be your worst enemy or your best friend. That is for you to decide. So choose wisely. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out the links in the video description.